Thanks for joining us on the NBC Connecticut YouTube page. We're talking face the facts and the possibility of paying college athletes here in Connecticut. State Senator Der Derek Slapp is joining us this yeah, morning. He has some me. legislation he wants to move forward to make that possible. What was the jumping off point for you to say that it's time to do this here in Connecticut? Yeah, I looked at what California passed, uh, unanimous, of course, bipartisan, and their proposal is um, not to have the state pay, not to have them unionized, but it's mm -hmm. simply to say that if the NCAA is uh, making endorsement money off of these athletes, um, that they should be able to get a piece of that, or um, they should be able to hire, I should say, and uh, hire an agent and um, you know, be able to seek endorsement. So this is a, a, a private enterprise, a free market right. uh, solution that really seems like uh, there's growing momentum across the country for. Some of the criticism, or at least the concern that I've heard from the general public and some articles I've read, they say certain schools or certain markets are gonna have a huge recruiting advantage, and that would hurt a smaller state like Connecticut. What do you say to that. No, I think the schools that will have the advantage are the ones that are located in states that have passed these laws, right. right? So those athletes will be able to benefit. So if we're left out and you have all these other states where uh, student athletes can go to schools that are located there, they can benefit. How are we going to be able to recruit at all? So if the fairness argument doesn't get you, the recruitment one should, I think. What's the likelihood of something like this happening here in Connecticut? Obviously, there are other states that are considering it. Uh, New Jersey is considering it. Washington State, you had mentioned yep. before, uh, is very serious about it. What's the likelihood of it actually getting some traction here? Are you getting some support yet? What have you heard from the NCAA, that kind of thing? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of great support, uh, both Republicans and Democrats. And, you know, some of them are motivated by uh, free market principles. Like, right. hey, you know what? If you can generate that, um, that value, go for it, right? And others are concerned about um, equity, as I am, right. uh, in just fairness. So um, it resonates with a lot of people on different sides of the political spectrum. And when you, you can do that and bring both sides together, that's when you can have legislative success. Now, if people are only half listening and they hear, oh, we should pay athletes, they think, wow, is that going to come out of the university budget? Is that going to come out of taxpayer pockets? Right. You say, no, that's not the case, right? No, that's yeah. not the proposal. Just to be clear. Uh, yeah. Very clear, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I do think, though, that it will. It could help um, retention rates as far as uh, getting students to graduate. We're not going to see maybe some of these athletes athletes say, you know what, I'd love to stay uh, in school, but I can't afford to, right. that kind of thing. Right, so right. Um, all upside as far as I can see. Could this be the, not necessarily the end, but the beginning of the end or a step towards the end of the one and done situation, do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's a great point, you know, and that's what we're talking about in terms of some of these athletes. Um, maybe it'll be easier for them to stay in school. And I do think in Connecticut, we will see our women athletes uh, benefit just as much as the men. I'm, you know, that's something that's really great about Connecticut. Right. We love our women's basketball here. And uh, if they can, during uh, their athletic prime, uh, benefit from uh, some uh, endorsements, some sponsorships, why not? What about our national delegation? Have they talked to you about it? Did they say that this is a good idea for Connecticut? I got a great message from Senator Murphy. Uh, he supports the legislation here, wants the General Assembly to pass it, but is also looking at national legislation. And that certainly would be ideal, is to not have a patchwork, is to right. have, you know, and ultimately I think this is going to force the NCAA's hand. They're going to have to come up with a bear, uh, better, more equitable solution. Senator Derek Slapp, we appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us on Face the Facts. That'll do it for this YouTube story. There's a, mo a bunch more right on the side there. This is Mike Heideck. Check them out. This is Face the Facts with NBC Connecticut.